Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this blog post. I'm Eli Vidana and today I'm going to be going over some of the enhancements to Fluent and SDK in the latest release of ANSYS 2022 R2. I'll be doing a short highlight uh, slide that'll go over some of the major changes to the 2022 R2 release. And then I'll do an, a walkthrough in SDK and Fluent. So in the latest release, Fluent now has a improved functionality which was previously released as a beta version called Fluent Arrow. Fluent Arrow is a streamlined workflow for aerodynamics of aerospace vehicles. This covers the subsonic and supersonic regimes of flight for aerospace vehicles and has had advancements enabled for convergence for the aerodynamic simulations. This automated workflow allows for parametrization of the flight conditions such as, such as Mach, angle of attack, and altitude. Upon completion of this workflow, you can now export the aerodynamic data in various formats that are ready to be used in SDK Aviator. We will go further into detail in the video walkthrough momentarily. So now I've launched Fluent and I'm selecting the arrow tab on the left hand side and ensuring I have Enterprise or Premium installed. I'll specify my solver processes and specify my working directory as well as ensure my Fluent root path is enabled and specified properly. I will hit start now. Fluent Arrow has now launched. I will create a new project and name it accordingly. Now I'll create a new arrow workflow and I'll import my mesh file and hit OK. So I just fast forwarded to the actual import but here is my UAV model of the surface mesh. I'll now showcase the actual fluid boundaries as well. So I'm currently using a symmetry plane but you can see here this is the fluid domain that, that encompasses the UAV. I will go back to just showing the surfaces or the walls for the UAV. Now I'll proceed to set up some of the geometric conditions. Uh, so in this case you can see the vertical is Z plus, so I'll set the lift direction to be Z plus and I will specify the uh, reference area by actually calculating it inside of Fluent. So I'll select all components and compute the projected reference area and then I will use that as the reference area. And additionally you can specify the moment center. In this case I will leave it as 0, 0 and you can also specify the reference length. Now I'll move on to setting up the simulation conditions. This is where you can actually parameterize the flight conditions that you would have from SDK Aviator. So in this case, I'm uh, parameterizing the Mach from 0.3 to 0.9 and setting points along those. I'm also going to parameterize the angle of attack and setting a uniform distribution from 0 to 10 degrees. So I'm specifying three points for it. And additionally, you can specify parameters that are pressure and temperature dependent or altitude dependent. You can change it to altitude or pressure and temperature. In this case, we're leaving them constant. Now I'll move on to setting up some of the component grouping in Fluent that allows for easily setting boundary conditions. So currently everything is defaulted as uh, free stream, which is just the fluid boundary condition or other, which is a wall, but I will go in and actually modify and create different groupings such as a body you can also get more detailed, but in this case, I'm just going to do body and a wing. So everything that is associated with the wing, I will specify as wing. But the nice thing about these groupings is they allow you to actually look at uh, force uh, contributions on those components easily later on for reports. So for if I just wanted to see the, the lift or drag contribution on wing, I, I could see that. So I'll just add everything else to other here momentarily. I'm sorry, to body. and I will leave the symmetry as other, and I'll showcase here in a moment how you can change the boundary conditions. So as we click through some of these, you can click on the individual components and you can see the, the fluid uh, far field is set as a pressure, the wings are set to walls, and you can change these different bo uh, boundary conditions in here if required. OK. 
Okay, so now we'll set up some of the solution solve parameters. So I'll go into the solve section and actually select the advanced settings and change my solver type. You can also specify different turbulence models uh, and other aspects to your solver. I'll also modify the convergence criteria, which you can also change uh, as required. All right, so that concludes the setup. I'll hit calculate now, and that would initiate the process of solving all of my uh, fluent arrow simulations. All right, so now we have the actual results that have completed uh, over a period of time. Uh, so the simple thing about this is once you've opened it up, you can actually look at the tables of the results and just directly click on the table and right click and then export the results to SDK Aviator. So what will occur is an aviator.arrow file will get created automatically. And you can actually then move on into SDK, create a new scenario, and actually drop in a, an aircraft and then pull in that .arrow file, which is what I'll show here momentarily. All right, so I'll insert a default aircraft. And then I'll actually change the propagator to Aviator. And then I will go in and uh, specify a new aircraft where I'll, act, I'll update the aircraft properties. So I'll go into the advanced fixed wing tool, specify an external arrow file, and actually navigate to where I have that aviator arrow file uh, from Fluent specified, and I'll pull it in, and then you can see my, my aerodynamics data is pulled in. So the nice thing about this is this is actually going to update and enhance our propagation model in SDK and make it more accurate, which is the, the real key to the whole functionality of the interoperability inside of uh, Fluent and SDK. All right, this concludes the video. Thank you for watching. I encourage you to go to the ANSYS product release highlights webpage to learn more details about this latest uh, enhancement to Fluent and SDK. Thank you.